I'm Alex Mahadavan with The Observer, back with another edition of FYI Friday. Could it be the end for Siesta Fiesta? Village leaders will consider canceling the annual Arts and Crafts Festival during a board meeting this month, as merchants think it has lost its identity and purpose. Traffic has hit a tipping point on Longbow Key, and Ocean Properties Vice President Mark Walsh thinks it will only get worse if residents don't approve a new hotel at the Longbow Key Club. With density for island-side units already approved, the referendum would only change the use of those units. In East County, Manatee County School Board members are reeling after the resignation of Superintendent Rick Mills, who called the board dysfunctional. School Board member Karen Carpenter has called for unity. Do residents want a larger park in Indian Beach? Not quite yet. While one nearby resident has proposed the city buy a couple parcels to expand the Indian Beach Park north and south, neighbors are worried about illicit activities and parking. The plan is on hold for more input. And in our crime news of the week, a dispute over prescription pain pills turned violent at a South Sarasota clinic Monday when 52-year-old John Connolly allegedly choked a healthcare worker with his own stethoscope. Connolly is being held without bail. For our video rundown this week, we watched as Reading Rainbow star LeVar Burton read to children at Booker Elementary School. But you don't have to take my word for it. Well, that's it for FYI Friday. For more community and breaking news, go online to yourobserver.com daily and pick up a copy of the Longboat and East County Observer Wednesday and the Sarasota and Siesta Key Observer Thursday. And for more fresh local content, go to the Observer YouTube page and press subscribe. You, your neighbors, your neighborhood.